Why are you always laughing? Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> to me, you and the Blended Crew, I'm Mari. And I'm Randy. And today's topic is all about dating. And what we're here to do is to share with you some wonderful date ideas that work for us. Hopefully to inspire you to either get creative on your new dating adventures uh, or just to share with you what we've done that worked. Well, in a way, I feel like uh, sometimes uh, people focus on, you know, finding the right person. And then once you have, then what now? You know, you don't have, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long game. It's, you have to plan for that. And when you get comfortable with someone, what tends to happen is that you just kind of get comfortable and you don't really uh, invest time in uh, keeping the flame alive and, you know, nurturing the relationship, the romantic side of the relationship and courting each other. That is absolutely a hundred percent true and you know that saying where people say the grass is always greener well the reality is the grass is greener where you water it where you water it so we're gonna we're gonna share some ideas with you uh, of things that we've done yes uh, tried and over true. the last four years, four years yeah. and this is just a piece of some of the things that we do that we enjoy that we've enjoyed together and uh, we want to share that with you yeah, uh, so one of the things that I believe in is like not having like humdrum dates, like being creative because you know, we're busy people, we're your real modern blended family where we have careers, we have children, we have social lives, we don't necessarily do everything together, so our time together is valuable and so we want to make the best of the time together. So when you know we, we plan a date night, uh, we don't usually do a movie, mm -hmm. movie and a dinner. I don't that, think we ever went to the movies I don't, together. No, we went once. Oh. Uh, uh, Girls trip. No, then that makes two because we also saw the Marvel movie uh, from Africa. Oh, Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther? Black Panther. Is it Black Panther? We saw Black Panther. That first came out. So yeah. actually two so, movies. So two movies in four in years. Four years. Yes. Two movies. So, so we don't really do the good. regular um, dinner the dinner goes. in a movie. No. So um, our, like you guys know our first date when we first met was really creative because it was a dance class. And we already explained why we selected a dance class. So that's uh, one um, date idea. And also what we did was we didn't just go to that one dance class. We signed up for dance classes because that kept us, uh, you know, kind of like it, it was a committed date every week time <laughs> that we had to spend with each other. It was at least a trap. It was a trap. <laughs> it was at least an hour to an hour and a half that we had to spend alone with each other. Yeah, planning, and, planning to get there, yeah. getting there together, getting there individually, depending on our schedule and our needs. Yeah, and connecting also. Uh, and, and that was just another way, another reason to communicate and stay in touch and get together. Yeah, it was kind. It was kind of like, um, like a, like a, just like a set date that now you had. You know, it was kind of like something you didn't even have to plan. It was just every week at this time. We got dance. We got dance. We got and, dance. And that and that kept us connected because through dance, you know, it's it's very romantic, emotional, sensual, and then when you actually get it, it's an accomplishment and it's exercise at the same time. And it's sexy. Yes, it is. And you got mirrors everywhere. Oh, and you check right, out right, all right, the right, angles. Right, all right. So. Mari introduced me to her dance school and I felt the need to return the favor to a school closer to where I was at the time, which happened to have been in Queens in New York and that was another, uh, another uh, Latin dance school. But we got a little bit of a different flavor, different style because it was a different instructor. So they all have their different ways and so if you need to shop around to find an instructor that you're comfortable with, you may need to do that. But it, it's definitely worth the investment. It was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed those. And I, I do miss those it, lessons. Actually. We're, yeah. we're going to need to get back into something yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. But another idea, another date idea, something that I just took a chance on. Uh, I invited Mighty out to go on a date and didn't give her any information. And it was kind of a shocker when I've come to find out that she can't swim. And I'm because deathly afraid. Of our <laughs> second date was in Central Park, and I took her out on the rowboats. Yeah, so it's really, really romantic. It was very romantic, but I hadn't divulged that part because I'm, I'm, I have a phobia, I have a fear, and it's overwhelming and it causes anxiety. But um, she held it together. Yeah, I kept she it together. Really pulled it off. I would never have known, and I don't even think I found out until well after. 
Yeah, it's not something I'm comfortable like saying because I feel like I, I should know how to swim. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed about it, so I don't talk about it. But that's a very romantic. I thought it was really romantic. It was beautiful. Very thoughtful. Central Park is beautiful. Bring mosquito spray. But um, <laughs> it was. It was. It was very romantic. And it's not that expensive. It's, no, it's a fairly it's inexpensive. Um, for an hour, it's really pretty much all you need uh, to get out for an hour or so. And you get in this big aluminum boat and you just start rowing. And in that case, she was no, I was rowing. And, uh, <laughs> You know, we just paddle around Big Lake in the middle of the park, and there were other couples and other groups and kids, and it was just a lot of fun. It was really enjoyable. And you could pull up into a little shrubbery area and have a little quality time, but it was <laughs> a lot of fun. Yes, it, uh, that's, that was a great idea. I was actually impressed with that. With not, that not a dinner and a movie. No. Uh, not Netflix and chill. No. It was uh, a lot more romantic than that. Yes, it was more like uh, Notting Hill. That's how it felt. I felt like I was in a movie. Maybe I'll that Notting that. Hill. That, that, that's in England. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Right. I've never seen Notting Hill. But I'll, I'll take it. I'm hoping it's something good. Uh, what else did we do that was kind of fun? We, we've done it quite a bit. Um, okay. One of the, our first dates, and this was a date with the children. Oh, yeah. We went pumpkin picking. Pumpkin picking if you're not allergic to pumpkins, <laughs> is a wonderful thing. And we went out to a place in Long Island at this point in time. And uh, it was just that time of year. It was around October. Mm -hmm. And we had the kids. And it was a wonderful outing where they could actively get out and pick their own pumpkins, put them in a big shopping cart, and we'll take them with us and yeah. go home and decorate them. And it was a fun date. Yeah, it was fun. And you can get, um, you, uh, I think you can buy like, like uh, warm cider there and, and things like that. Oh, in the country store. Yeah, in yes. the country store there. So that's not so much of a romantic date, but it's still a good date. It's a fun date. It's a little bit more active. And it was definitely where our kids were learning about each other. Yes. Because it was still new for them. It, the dating yeah. situation may not have been, you know, new for us in a sense. It wasn't our first date, but for the kids, it kind of more or less was. Yes. Yeah, so it kept them like it was fun. It, it got them to interact, but not necessarily have to or be forced to interact with each other. They were just playing and whatever, and they just happened to be around each other. So it was kind of like a good way to ease the kids into things also. Yeah, that was fun. Um, some other fun dates that we had that we shared and we also shared with you was uh, going to the museum. Uh, we're in Brooklyn, that's no big secret, and uh, close to us is the Brooklyn Museum, and on the first Saturday of every month, they have a wonderful open event, uh, free to the public, yes. and there are different exhibits every time. Um, you want to talk about that? Well, yes, because uh, one of the things that we do, we, we do a lot, we are very social, very active, but uh, we're also conscious of our finances. And so we, when we plan things out, we try to find things that are cultural, but also affordable. And this one is great because uh, they usually have uh, band music activities. Mm -hmm. The exhibits are open. It's absolutely free to the public. It's into the evening. They turn out to be lots of fun. They also have like a little bar area with wine and beer crackers and and, chips. and chips and crackers and snacks. You can also bring the children to that. So that can be a, a date just for the adults, or it could be a family. Um, yeah, a, they a also family have event. a arts and crafts yes. station for kids uh, at different times, depending on what activities they're offering. Yes, and this um, is at the Brooklyn Museum. Right. That was another fun. So wait, uh, so for our first anniversary, uh, that was that was the first time I think that we all really. All right, get out your notepads because <laughs> this is going to be fun. This this was like the first time that we were going to really kind of show off our plan, our date planning skills, <laughs> and so we were debating on who was going to plan our. Who first was going to orchestrate? Yes, and so what we decided to do was just to split up the date. Yeah into two halves so i had the first half you had the day shift i had the day shift and he had the night shift <laughs> and so we um we did everything secretly so that oh, we would surprise the other so my half of the date started early in the day and i had conspired with my friend who is a wonderful chef and so she put together a picnic for us and um, I gave her, you know, the things that I wanted, uh, got the, um, 
The basket. The, the basket, the picnic basket, blankets, everything. All the essentials. All the everything. It was it was set up so beautifully, but um, I didn't know exactly where it was going to be, so that was a little bit of a surprise for me. I told her whereabouts <laughs> I would want it, and Central Park is huge. So uh, what we did, I had rented tandem bikes for us, a tandem bike. Conveniently, so, Mari was wounded at the time. She it wasn't convenient. Injured knees, so she was not an active participant in the cycling whatsoever. I didn't pedal. So oh, a tandem bike is a bike for two. And, two seats. And I was in the back, and I had just had uh, knee surgery, but it was too late for me to cancel. Yeah. So uh, what I did was I just sat in the back with my legs like this. And Randy pedaled. So my friend sent us a pin and uh, let me know the location which exactly. Which is a Google pin, which is a locator, a GPS. Yes. So uh, I, I gave him instructions on where to go. And he didn't know where he was going, but we were riding in the park. And then finally we come to this beautiful picnic. And, you know, <laughs> we had, we parked our bike. And he was just like, wait, did this just magically appear? Because my friend was hiding behind a tree. And, um... We had uh, wine and cheese and wine crackers, cheese crackers and, and fruit and yeah. shrimp and all this stuff and music and she even and like picture she actually printed she a, a frame, which which I have yes you have in I your have. office so she even printed a picture of us and put it on a frame it is beautiful we'll share pictures with you guys um, and other people thought that it was like a set like a like a like uh, uh, a uh, photo shoot a movie set of some sort or a photo shoot yeah yeah so photo so photo people shoot. passing by us to take pictures of us. Um, and then after our picnic, we packed our things up, uh, rode back to the bike shop. Returned. Started, started to get late afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. So it was like a little bit later in the afternoon. And we went to the, I think it was the Metropolitan Museum. Right. If it's not the Metropolitan, it it's the MoMA. MoMA. One, Mo of one of those. But the Whichever one that has, has the roof rooftop. access. <laughs> yeah. So there's a rooftop bar there and you can see a view of Central Park and you know the sun setting and it's it's beautiful so we went up there and got champagne and just watched the sunset and that was the end of my half of the date that's right and then the fun started <laughs> <laughs> let me not belittle that part that was a really really well thought out plan and execution was perfection so i was very very happy with the way things are going so far so then came my half and uh it was a little bit Simpler, but yet effective. Uh, we needed some food because I worked all day on that bike. So I needed to replenish. So we had reservations for uh, a Brazilian churrascaria, which is a Brazilian steakhouse. And this was uh, the most amazing dinner. Uh, the name of the restaurant was Plataforma. And um, it's in Times Square area. And uh, so we had arrangements to go and we got to the restaurant, had a wonderful dinner. Uh, after that, I had reservations at a hotel, but uh, I think we made a stop along the way, didn't we? Or went straight from there to there? I think we went to the hotel, dropped our things off, changed, then went to went, dinner. Went to dinner and... Uh, and then after dinner, you don't remember what We did was. something else. No, I know yes. we did something else. I'm forgetting. What was it? Drunk Shakespeare. Ah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. I also had reservations. I had tickets for uh, an outing at, uh, you know, well, it was a performance of Drunk Shakespeare. And that was very cozy and private. And that was something, you know, inexpensive. I found a, a deal on Groupon. Groupon, yes. Uh, but it was so much fun because... It was like they were kind of forcing drinks on you. There yeah. was more than a two-drink minimum. It felt like a five-drink minimum. And even the actors were drinking. So it was so entertaining. I, I really had a good time there. And it was a very uh, closed, private affair. It felt like there were maybe at most 25 or yes, so people in the room. Yes, it was very crowded. So, uh, and the actors are right there with you. They're, they're sitting next to you. They're, they're inviting you in. They're pulling you into the place. So it was really a lot of fun. And then we just got to kick back and relax at the hotel. And... Some quality time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's not all. There's more. Yes. So we have... Um, so aside from, like, you know, we our dates aren't as elaborate as the anniversary dates. But those are ideas that you can do separately. You, yeah, know, you, you don't have to do it, it all at once. Yeah. Yes. But uh, one of the things that we've done is, uh, you know, 
the small playhouses and local community theaters usually have the big productions and they do really well like the big broadway productions they bring them in and they do their adaptation right. of whatever show so we actually one night went to see in the heights in um the theater in in long island i forget it was in suffolk county mm -hmm. so we did that one night uh, on another occasion, I remember I took Randy out to dinner to a uh, burlesque show and dinner. And it's a place downtown Manhattan called <laughs> Duane Park. And it's a, it's very fancy. It's very, it's high end. And uh, uh, the performers are very talented. Randy was very happy. And it was, it was fun. It was something It was different. fun to both of us. It we was, really it was both, really, yeah. both enjoyed it. There was, there was nothing too risque, but it no, was, uh, it was very it was, tasteful. It was adult fun. Yes, it was adult fun, but it was very tasteful. And the performers were amazing. And the food was really good. And so. it brought you back. It was like a time warp. It was yes. like going back to Into the twenties. Like the twenties. Yes. So, yes. uh, you know, the, the lighting, the setup, the, the tables and chairs, everything, the whole environment was set up like as if you were back in the 20s. So mm -hmm. it was really a great experience. It was a lot of fun and I appreciated that. Um, we've also done stuff, a like couple's massages uh, from yeah. time to time. Because I know that's one of your favorite things to do is to get yes. a massage. That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, like I, I suffer from a lot of neck and lower back pain. And I find a lot of those on Groupon where you get a nice couple's massage, you know, like first time. And I'll go, you know, to new places and they're usually, I mean, I'm never going to complain of, uh, about a massage. Yeah. So we've, you know, we've, we've gotten, you know, some really good massages. Some have been a little shitty. The last one that we did, wasn't that uh, on, on, on Flatbush, wasn't that, uh, was that Mother's Day? What was the occasion? Or yeah, it was birthday? Mother's Day. No, you surprised me. It, I think it was, it was either my birthday or Mother's Day. I think it was a Mother's Day. Yeah. It was a Mother's Day, I think, two years ago. Um, and that was a wonderful massage. Oh, oh yeah. We had champagne afterwards. We had chocolate-covered strawberries. They it actually set so the they set nice. the room. I mean, in a couple's massage. It was a package. It was a special package that you, you'd have to ask for. Um, it, it's on their menu, uh, a special couple's massage. What is massage, the name of the place? I don't recall. I forget the name of the place. But in a couple's massage, if you've never done it, it's you. You know, your beds are side by side, so you have in the one same room. In yeah. the same room, you have one um, therapist here and one massage therapist there, and so you know your eyes are closed. When they turn you over, they kind of put something over your eyes, and at the end, what they did was, you know, she was massaging my hand, and I guess she was massaging Randy's hand, and at the end, she go she puts my hand in his hand and I didn't even realize that it was his hand and then they was, walked out and then they walked out so we woke up and we're like oh, oh. we're holding hands oh, that was, that was and nice. there was there was straw um, chocolate champagne. covered strawberries champagne rose petals it was yeah. candles Beautiful. it, it was, was a great. wonderful surprise and it yeah. worked out wonderfully I yes. felt great that was one of my favorite massages yes, yes 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 so that's another fun idea well but we've also done other things that are like spa like oh, together shit. it's just a little <laughs> speaking of Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. This okay. You got to write this one down. So this is unorthodox. If, if this is very unorthodox, so you want to pay attention to this. So if you if you have any digestive issues, and I didn't necessarily have some at the time, but in the past I, I did, and I and I needed some help, and so um, I talked to a couple friends, and somebody had recommended a uh, a colon cleanse. And if you're not familiar with what that is, in layman's terms, <laughs> should I say it? No, 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 no. I, I, Look I really it up. Want to say Google it. it. Look up colon cleanse. Google it. And yeah. there, there are a number of ways it can be done. I'm familiar with two. Since I've been to two different places, I'm familiar with two methodologies. There may be more, but I had it done in the past. So when I met Mari, she was backed up. Uh, I've <laughs> <laughs> to I've, put it plainly, she had I some had digestive, digestive problems. issues. Yeah. And I suggested a colon cleanse, and I thought that would solve her problems. Well, we found a place, and Madi made the arrangements for a couple's colon cleanse. Uh, I never would have thought. <laughs> I did not feel at this point that I needed one. It's something that you can do once a year, twice a year, at best. You really don't need much more than I that. Didn't want and to you're do it good alone. for a while. So, Mari made arrangements for us both to get it done. Thank God it was not in the same room because I would really, really have a problem with that. would have been that. really shitty. Re it would have been twice as shitty as it was just going in one room alone. So, 
I wanted to share that with you. I just need to put that out there. That, that was one of the craziest things that we ended up doing basically together. Yes. Uh, so we started at the same time, finished roughly at the same time, and then we came out to 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 share our experiences and uh, oh, I, I, felt so yes, much better. Yes, yes, yes. It yes, is yes. one of the best feelings to have when you're done with it. So Well, especially for someone like me, like that I have, you know, um, issues uh i it, i had never done it before i was a little scared so i wanted to do it i didn't want to do it alone um but um but it, but it did it did feel great i mean i i don't think it's for everyone but if you you know if you choose to explore we explore a lot we're not uh we're adventurous and we so are we, but i mean in this case this was a health this was absolutely based on nothing more than pure health reasons yes i felt that she could benefit substantially and i did from this. actually since and then yeah it's yeah been, it'll put great. you back on that regular path and with a happy stomach your whole body responds and you just yeah, everything get a, get improves. your whole overall out. health improves so like the average person believe it or not and this is a medical fact walks around with between 15 and 20 pounds of poop in their digestive tract so i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because that, <laughs> that's not what this video yeah, is about yeah, but yeah. just fyi look into it and if you need it get it done it could change your life it can make you a lot healthier all right let's move on let's move on um we went to Barclays for a concert for Mother's Day. That was a fun day. Yes. That was a multi tier. Well, you had you event. had like you got VIP passes to like the bar area, remember? That we had the wristbands. Nice. Yes, we drank before. We had nice nice time before. We got set up for the concert. Then we went yeah. up to our seats and we enjoyed an amazing show at Barclays, which is you know, an arena in Brooklyn. So we had a wonderful time there. You remember who was performing? Yes, it was uh, Kem, Anthony Hamilton, Tyrese, Brandy. Anthony Hamilton. Yeah, I said Anthony you Hamilton. You said, okay, okay. Yeah. And it was like an R&B show. It was wonderful. I had yeah, an amazing time. time. We've also been to see um, Maxwell at the Prudential Center also. Not just Maxwell. We saw who else? Oh, we saw uh, Romeo Santos. Romeo Santos. We saw Romeo Santos at at um, and he's a, a, a Spanish Latin, uh, artist. Latin artist. Yes. So concerts are also fun. You know, it's like you're you're on a date, but you're also in, you know entertained by you know oh, performers. Yeah. So that's those are a good ones. Getting those out of the house, ones. getting yeah. out of the neighborhood, going somewhere, making a little, little quick trip. For us, that was in New Jersey. That was an hour yeah. away. But Barkley is ten minutes. Yeah, down the it's road. really close. Very close. But also one of the places that. We, I find a lot of things to do activities is Eventbrite. You go on Eventbrite and it and they tell you what's going on in your neighborhood. Oh, that's true. And you can buy tickets and it's usually not that expensive. So that's a good place to find um, activities to do. One of the one, one of my favorite ones was when we went to the Vuvkli Co Polo Classics. Oh, and you can actually check our video on that. We've got yes. that up on YouTube. That's uh, done quite well. You can take a look at that video. The Verve Clico Polo Event. How do you say it? The... V Stop. Stop. <laughs> the... Verve Clico. Um, I'm not French. <laughs> so it was a polo match. And I don't know if you've seen a polo match, but I'd only seen them on TV. But to have the opportunity, and it just passed. This year's one-time event, yes. Verve Clico, had just passed. In New York, but they it's, do it in other, in other cities. We're here in June now. And uh, it happened this month. Uh, I saw a few friends of mine went, and they had a wonderful time. It's a little bit shishy. Yes. It's a little bit bougie. It's fancy. Um, but if, you get to you're, dress up. if you're up for a, a fun, special, maybe once in a lifetime event that's yeah, not, it's one of the once in a lifetime not available, for him. He's not not going available again. on a regular basis, um, that could be your thing. You didn't like it. I enjoyed it. I, okay. I enjoyed the polo match itself, uh, but it was really, 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 really shishy. And I'm not such a big fan of that crowd but uh, yeah. i did enjoy it uh the boat ride there uh the gr polo grounds the whole facility was just beautiful absolutely amazing it's a little expensive also. it was at liberty park it took place at liberty park yeah uh, it was a fun day it was yeah so that was more for fun than you know than than being financially conscious but it was because a good day that that was a good date. A it was just date. it was it was ex it was a little expensive. Just the tickets alone, and then all you can buy is uh, you know, the 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 <laughs> <laughs> a bottle a bottle yeah. at a time. Yes. Um, yeah, but that was another fun date. We've got so much stuff. Oh gosh, uh, for the whole winter, we rented a ski house in Vermont. 
We did that for two seasons with some good, good friends of ours and had a wonderful time. And I really, really want to get back to that because it became a family escape. Yes. We took the kids one weekend. And when I didn't have the kids, we went up the next weekend. And then we back would be the up kids. there alone, have the fireplace We had the house. Going. We had the space, peace and quiet. No cell phone service. No. The reception was shady. So I didn't get bombarded with phone calls from work or your work. Oh gosh, what a retreat that was. And we would make the trip from where we are. It's a four hour door to door trip to the spot in Vermont, uh, Southern Vermont. And I would go snowboarding um, or at times Marty and I would go to a lodge or have drinks or somewhere. Well, he, well he would ski. I would stay in the, in the lodge and just order. You Not know, the lodge, the house. Well, the house, or sometimes I would come with you oh, and say, like, if my yeah. sister came also, so the guys would go skiing and we would stay and just order cheese platters <laughs> and wine and just hang out. But, uh, but yeah, that, that, that was fun. That yeah, was a lot of fun. Again, something else to do. So we did it with a group of people, so that um, reduced the, the price. Cost. Yes, and so it wasn't that expensive. I mean, it, it still can get pricey, but... Um, it wasn't too bad. It there there too are bad. ways to be economical. You yeah. buy season tickets or a, a special uh, package uh, of, of ski uh, access passes. So there are ways around it. But it was just, oh, the kids still talk about that when winter comes around. When are we going skiing? When are we going snowboarding? Uh, and I want to get back to that. Because that, again, was probably every weekend vacation. It felt like a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Something to do. One of my favorite um, date ideas is going to live podcast shows. I've gotten in... Well, I've been into podcasts for a while now. And uh, some of my favorite podcasters go on tour. And when they go on tour, I buy tickets and I, I go see those. And I drag him with me and he's starting to get into them also. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Very entertaining. We saw the Casey crew But just live. going to a live event. I just love live yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, Live shows are always fun. If it's music or if it's entertainers yes. or, you know, podcast folks. it's Live events are just always entertaining. Yes. There's always something fun about it. Yeah, so those are a few of the things that we do to keep, you know, courting each other, the flame alive. If you need and... some more ideas, hit us back and let us know and write down in the comments below. We'd love to hear if you want us to elaborate on any one that you've heard for tonight. Uh, just feel free to comment down below. Yeah, and let us know what your date ideas are. What do you guys do to keep the flame going? Because we do need that and it should not ever stop. No. Uh, you should date weekly. At worst, monthly, but you should do something. If you're doing nothing, then you're doing something wrong. Even if it's staying home and scheduling like a show together, like private dinner, even, like yeah. dinner for Marty, you could check yeah. that video too. Dinner yeah. for Marty, like just do special things. You can, you don't have to go out and spend money, but just dedicate the time to each other. That's important, right? Yeah, yeah. it works for us. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, check back with us, and we're gonna have an interesting topic next time. So you really want to make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's gonna do with parenting parenting skills, kids, and discipline. So we'll get more into that. In a blended situation. In a blended situation. So it's not just everyday type of stuff, but it's in blended situations. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you learn about when that video is going to be released. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.